Hello, and welcome to Jackass Retro. Uh, my name is Matt. If this is your first time at the channel, I'm a full-time reseller based in Bremerton, Washington. And uh, one of the main things that I sell is uh, postcards. Uh, accounts for roughly around half of my store listings at this point. And uh, I wanted to start doing these videos. I've been getting a lot, you know, good amount of comments on the postcard element of my weekly shipping videos and the, uh, you know, unboxing videos that I've done. So what I'm going to be doing from kind of here forward is uh, sort of segmenting out uh, the content relating to postcards on the channel. Um, you'll be seeing them in, you know, their own playlists. You'll be able to search it a little bit better and find specifically in the information about postcards. And one thing I want to first, before we get started, is sort of acknowledge that I'm here uh, very much standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, I got into this largely because of other YouTube channels that talked a lot about postcards, or do talk a lot about postcards. Um, Auction Professor being one of them, and uh, another one, uh, former YouTuber uh, Popeye's Postcards. Still on eBay, still out there selling, but no longer making content. And, uh, you know, the content from, from those channels really, uh, one, sparked my interest, and two, gave me very much a uh, entry education into, uh, into postcards. You know, when I first started, I was looking at them largely at, you know, something to sell. Uh, I'm not really a collector, um, but I have to say, over time, uh, in dealing with these, they've, I, I've become very, very interested in them. They're really cool to me. Uh, they're a great little snapshot into the past and, uh, you know, want to be able to, uh, provide people who want to know more about them or people who are just interested in them, you know, sort of, uh, how I go about it. I in no way claim to be an expert here. You know, if, you, if I mess something up, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know. So, uh, if it is your first time here and you want to see more content like this, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, one week, once a week, what sold postcards only. And uh, I'm very much modeling this off Popeye's postcards. He did uh, one of these a week. I learned a lot by watching it. And um, hopefully uh, you might learn something here as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. We're going to go through all of them. We'll talk about, you know, prices and things like that. So let's do it. All right. We're going to take me off the screen here so you guys can just get a good view of this. I just need to get myself set up real quick. Okay, now this first sale was actually two postcards. They're both Mississippi postcards. I don't recall what exactly it worked out to, but the total sale was $55 plus shipping. Uh, first one is a, of course, printed postcard, 1908 divided back. Um, this is the Church of the Redeemer in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, very cool. Don't uh, Couldn't find any other one, examples out there. So uh, again, typically on a lot of my postcards, I will price relatively high with make offer options. And somebody made me an offer for $55 for this and the next postcard, which is this one. It's the uh, Ellisville, Mississippi Courthouse, um, Jones County Courthouse. I acquired this from a very large collection of our uh, real photo postcards, our PPCs. Um, bought over the summer, this last summer, uh, probably around uh, in the neighborhood of like 1,500 to 2,000 postcards, most of them real photo most of them courthouses, although there was a number of post offices and churches and, you know, some other odds and ends in there as, as well, not just real photo. So another nice sale, $55 total uh, buyer paid shipping. Next up, different customer, 
but uh, same state. <laughs> this is a 1908 Greetings from Mississippi City. Kind of a cool sunset scene. Um, all kinds of postmarks here on the back. Uh, wasn't huge money. This one's $7.95, free shipping. Typically on some of the, you know, higher damage, lower cost, you know, lower um, desirability, higher availability postcards, you know, I'll, I'll price them out at like $6.95, $7.95. Uh, for me, because I sell such a variety of other items, I, I do only ship first class. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to when eBay has the new envelope shipping for postcards, which they don't yet. Um, I know there's a lot of postcard sellers out there who just use white envelope with no tracking um, or some other, you know, the USPS tracking overlay services that are out there. Um, I don't do that. I've, I'm a hundred percent positive feedback store and uh, I want to maintain that for the other things that I sell. So this one, again, $7.95 free shipping. Moving on. Uh, Southside School, Benson, Minnesota. The real photo postcard. This one, um, I feel like I underpriced for sepia view. I'm not sure why I priced at this. I probably looked at comps and availability again. Sometimes if I'll see something with a lot of them out there, but none of them sold, I'll you know take that to you know price a little bit better than the competition out there, maybe entice somebody to sell. And in this case, somebody did buy, uh, again, $7.95 free shipping. Cool view though. Like I, I really like the contrast on it. Like it just looks neat, sort of foreboding for a school though. Uh, another courthouse, this most likely came from that uh, same collection of real photo courthouses. They weren't all real photo, but this is Lewistown, Illinois. Uh, this one actually sold same day I listed it. I'm kind of at the end of that that one. I like the, the message here on the back. It's somebody, I think, looking for a specific kind of glassware. And there's their little drawing of it. I feel like this may have sold the card, but also, you know, somebody might just be buying it for the courthouse. Uh, this one sold for $6.95, free shipping. Moving on up. The next is uh, five postcards in one sale. I do offer 25% off purchase of five or more postcards. This smarty person did the math here. Um, some of these are higher price postcards. I don't have the exact breakout. But the two most valuable ones in here are this first one, which is a uh, real photo postcard of Japan Day at or Japanese Navy Day at the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exhibition in Seattle, Washington, uh, 1909. Very cool postcard. Uh, I got this from at, at auction um, with. That's and that's pretty much the only way that I knew what this was. It was somebody was kind enough to write it on back. Um, uh, got this at auction with a number of other ones, and I got it honestly. I got them for a steal. I got probably a dozen uh, real photo postcards, all from the Alaska Yukon. Um, I think it paid around twenty-two bucks for the lot. And I've already sold a number of them off, and, and this is really just all profit at this point. Very cool, real photo. Uh, then we've got the Maccabees wa walking past Machinery Hall on the campus of the exhibition. Uh, Machinery Hall uh, is ba basically the campus of the exp exposition is now University of Washington. So that building, I don't know for sure, but might actually exist. I actually have two, I have several real photos of the Maccabees in this parade. Um, and again, not, let me just double check here. I can tell you what these went for. My asking price on them was $96.95 for the Maccabees and $67.95 for Japanese Day. And they got 25% off of those prices, um, which is fine. They were up as make offer anyways. 
Uh, third in the same buy is Sitka, Alaska, Skagway. Um, I believe these were all like 695 postcards. So uh, this is an old listing. I, this is this is probably one of the first postcards I did before I even have a scanner because I don't even have the back of the postcard up here. So um, the fact somebody bought this one, kind of amazing. Uh, Sam goes here, no scanner. Uh, also Sitka, Alaska. This is a bird's eye of the harbor, 1938. Somebody... Again, kind enough to date it for me. And again, this is long before you can see the quality difference between the scanner and my my lame photographs. And then another of Sitka, Alaska, the waterfront with some boats in the harbor. Again, 1938. No clue where I got these. Wow, look at that. Glad I got my act together. Um so yeah, the total purchase on that was, uh, including shipping, one hundred and fifty-five eighty-five. They did pay for shipping. Um, I also uh, basically price if you buy one postcard from me, every other postcard will ship for free, no limit. Um, kind of my way of combating the, you know, paid first class with tracking, you know, and also entice the customers to perhaps make a purchase of more than one. Uh, another reason why I do free shipping on a lot of these, you know, I'm just trying to stay competitive in the marketplace against a lot of these other sellers who are just doing white envelope sales with, with no tracking at all. Uh, this is very cool one, not huge money, but uh, feeding the chickens, Santa Barbara mission. Got a few of the, <clears throat> the monks in the mission. Uh, M. Ryder. So this is around 1910s. I just like, it's a nice image. Very soothing. <laughs> uh, it sold for $10 free shipping, $9.95 free shipping. This one is not an old one. It is a postcard. This is the uh, Tingit. I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing that. It's the Raven um, from advertising postcard from the Allegory Bookshop in Glenenden Beach, Florida. Um, I don't think it's very old at all. Um, and it sold the same day that I listed it. Uh, I just, I almost didn't list it at all, but I put it up for $7.95 free shipping and it almost sold right away. So um, I just figured somebody would probably want the, the art that's on here. It's a nice, you know, Native American Northwest art piece. Uh, next up, Another fairly inexpensive one, levy seen during cotton shipping time. Uh, this is uh, ch -ch 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 New Orleans. Uh, I like the New Orleans because it's the mouth of the Mississippi. You get a lot of these views of, um, you know, cargo that's it's either coming off or about to go onto a ship. So this, and, and very often it's cotton because it's, you know, southern port. Um, this one is a, don't believe it's, I believe it's a linen postcard, maybe. No, this is just, just a white border. So, you know, roughly around 1920s, uh, $7.95 free shipping. Next, a Chrome postcard, uh, I believe 1960s. This is Miss Kauai, uh, Elthi Aguilar and a Tiki, um, this one, uh, I actually, after I listed it, I listed it for $14.95 make offer. Um, all of my make offer postcards will, will charge for shipping. Um, that's just to essentially protect myself against taking something too low. And uh, immediately started getting low balls, which told me that it was desirable. So I actually raised my price a few bucks and had a number of watchers on it, sent out a... 5% off offer on some of my new listings. Um, and somebody took it. So it sold for $14.20 plus shipping. And it's unposted. Nice postcard. Um, the A number of the other Miss Kauai ones had sold in that same range. I think I'm on the higher end of it because I didn't see any examples of this specific card. This is the 
uh, Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco, California. It's the lobby. Uh, I've been in this hotel many times. It has one of the best tiki bars I've ever seen. Um, there's another room off here, I believe, off to the side. It used to have like a, a merry-go-round in it in the Victorian times. And more recently, it's a uh, big tiki bar with a lake in the middle of it. It's pretty amazing. Um, not a very uncommon card, very common actually. Um, mine sold for $6.95 free shipping. Uh, next up, we've got a linen postcard, typical scene at Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Unused, uh, again, not super uncommon, um, but sold for eight ninety five, dollars uh, free shipping. Got a lot of lower price postcards this week, but, you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, next up, we've got a... Uh, Mackinac Island in Michigan. I know I said that right. I used to date somebody from Michigan. So Mackinac Island. Uh, this is a street view with some carriages. 1914. Uh, you know, dirt street view, early electrical lines. Cool card. I like it. Took a while to sell, surprisingly, um, but sold for $14.95 and the buyer paid shipping. Oregon Coast, Cape Fell Weather, Linen Postcard. Um, this one was just kind of interesting. It had a modern postmark, 1983. And obviously, this is an older card than that, 1940s-ish. Um, there was some other Cape Fell Weather cards, but none uh, with this exact view that I saw. So um, they, this is actually, uh, I believe, the higher end of Cape foul weather postcard sales. This one sold for $6.95 free shipping. Most of the other ones I saw in there were like the in the pennies dollar range. So happy to get this. Uh, next up, another $6.95 free ship. This is Linen Postcard, Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, Beach Road, line of palm trees. Unposted, or oh, the posted, 1957. Um, and yeah, six ninety five dollars free shipping. They add up. They add up for sure. Uh, we've got a clap saddle, signed, uh, artist signed. Nice Easter postcard. This one sold relatively quickly. Uh, it's clearly got some damage here. Not in perfect condition, but big hat, basket of flowers. Nice card. Uh, fourteen ninety five plus shipping. Here's one. Uh, I ended up going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with this buyer. Um, Bodega del Toro. These are Bali flamenco dancers. Uh, really nice, pretty, colorful card. Uh, 1960s Barcelona. This one sold for $9 plus shipping. I think I had it up for maybe $19.95 plus shipping um, and did take an offer on it. So still not, not at all a bad sale for a little piece of cardboard. Uh, next up is a linen postcard. Uh, tobacco ready for curing in tobacco land. Again, pretty kind of common view. Oop, what's happening there? Well, good thing it sold. That's weird. I see it down here. <laughs> well, sold for $6.95, free shipping. Uh, I think we're off of the cheapo cards for a bit now. This is uh, the Menifee County Courthouse, Frenchburg, Kentucky. Again, courthouse, real photo, came from that same collection mentioned earlier, uh, unposted. A lot of the cards that were uh, in that collection had this stamp on them. Um, and just inter interesting that it, this one would go for 25 bucks. Somebody wanted it that much. And it's kind of a blurry, not very interesting view of a doorway. 
So you never know, right? Somebody may be looking for that courthouse or that town or who, who knows what, what drove the sale here. But $25 plus shipping was the total. We have uh, Main Street View, Greenberg, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, this one was up for a while. I believe I got this one from a Jeanette, Pennsylvania. I think I got this in a collection that I bought over the summer in an online auction, uh, online ephemera auction. It's my best guess. Uh, sold for $20 plus shipping. Took an offer on it. Um, undivided back, 1907. Definitely nice sale. Streetcars, old electrical, just kind of cool. This one is really happy about this sale. Um, I really like this car. This is my favorite. I got out of, I actually bought a uh, lot of postcards off of Goodwill, Mar uh, Goodwill Auctions. It was 13 and a half pounds of postcards or something like that. I actually did a, a little short unboxing on the channel. I did a, um, prior to me purchasing this, I did a, um, try a short on figuring out how many postcards were in 13.5 pounds. And, uh, it turns out it's around 1500. Seems about right. Um, but in any case, this is, there was a number of Japanese sort of geisha content and this one just really cool card. Very interesting. Um, seeing the, the sort of candid geisha photo, young geisha photos, um, you know, in, you know, period bathing suits. So you have like the bathing beauty still, it's this, the studio view, you know, it's not really at the ocean, right? You can tell that from what's behind them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just a really cool card. I was excited for this one to find the right buyer. Um, and it did sold for $60 plus shipping. Um, I had actually listed it right at 60 bucks. Got some low ball offers immediately after listing, which to me almost always means I've got it priced too low. So I raised, raised the price. Um, and then um, got an offer and took it. So nice card made in Japan. Very neat. Only a few left here. Uh, got a vintage uh, EAS uh, Christmas postcard, red Santa Claus. Good fortune. Happy Christmas. 1913. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. Very cool Christmas uh, Christmas postcard. And just goes to show, Christmas sells all year round. We're almost into April, and this one sold. Um, Oakland, California Street, um, 12th Street from Washington. You've got some good signage here, Dirt Street View, cars, people walking around. Um rent publisher. So, you know, all these things could, could very well sell the card. I tend to do pretty well with Oakland street views. I've sold quite a few of them. Um, this one sold for $7 and 16 cents free shipping. So this would have gone out on a make offer. Probably it was listed at 7.95 sent out a 10% offer. Uh, this one is from my most recent pickup at uh, auction lot I won from Michonne's Auction House in Alameda, California. Um, first of the postcards to sell. We're going to have two of them here. Um, there are two more that you'll have to wait until next time to see. So that'll be next Sunday. Uh, this is the Edora Park uh, Bear Pit. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out exactly where it was. Um, the, the giveaway for me, because there's nothing on here that says Edora Park. So it said San Francisco down here is the publisher. Um, the Cardinal Vincent. Um, so I, you know, did a search for California Bear Pit 
<laughs> there was only one Edora Park in Oakland. And um, then matched up the fencing behind here and the rockery. So uh, found some other postcards and some other images of the bear pit at Edora Park and was able to determine that's in fact where this was. So um, apparently somebody agreed with me because it sold same day, 1050 plus shipping. And finally, uh, same thing came from the Michon's lot, uh, Holman's department store, Pacific Grove, California. Uh, pretty common view, advertising postcard, uh, sold for $7.95, free shipping. So that is it. That's everything that's sold here over the course of this last week. Uh, we'll be doing this again in one week's time. Uh, if I would love to know your comments, your thoughts, questions, um, put them down below. Let me know if this is the kind of content you'd like to see. Um, I'm, I'm putting these together because this is the kind of content I'd like to see. Um, and there's not a lot of it out there currently. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on bell notifications. You can see when I go live, which is uh, very often, uh, I do sell a lot of items outside of just postcards. So if you're interested in those things, you can check that out as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.